Look at them, they've got eyeballs. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. We are somewhere new today. <laughs> somewhere completely new, never been here. We are at Old Glory Antique Marketplace. We are in Maryland. That's the best I can give you because I'm not sure exactly where in Maryland we are. But by the end of this video, I'll have figured it out. Um, this was a suggestion of Kate that we come here. She says there's one booth that every time she sees it, she's like, this is, this is a booth for Jocelyn. So she suggested we come here. I'm really excited to get in here and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Okay, well, we just walked in the door and you can see that they're running lots of sales. We've got 30% off of this booth and it looks glorious. <laughs> I see lots of glass. We've got this cute little hedgehog. Oh, maybe it's a pig. Is it a pig or a hedgehog? I mean, it can't be a hedgehog because he doesn't have little spikies on him. But he's a $9 little piggy and 30% off and then we've got the elephant here unfortunately clear glass is just a hard sell that's a great price but on eBay I just have a hard time moving the clear glass now we're gonna come over here look at all this fiesta I know I know all you fiesta collectors are like let me see it we've got we've got this little piece here this is $90 this may be the lilac that a lot of you were talking about um, in one of my previous videos, I think I walked past some lilac. I mean, that kind of looks purple to me. That might be, might be the lilac color. There's some nice pieces in here, and I don't see very many utensil marks. That's always one of my concerns with Fiesta Ware. This one back here has utensil scratches on it. Um, buying and selling Fiesta Ware, a lot of the times I come across the older pieces, and the utensil marks are just, like, bad. We've got some blue willow in this case. I love seeing it all together like this. I think it just looks fabulous. What is this? Oh, this is unfortunately as is. It's got a chip there. They want $19 for it. Oh, and the bottom is chipped as well. That's a shame. That's a pretty vase. All right, well. I just got off the phone with Andrew, and as I was on the phone with Andrew, I was staring directly at this piece because I really wanted to come over here and get a closer look at it. $25. It's got kind of an interesting design on it. Unfortunately, there are no signatures, so it's kind of it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but it's got those cattails on it. I had $25, 30 percent off. I probably, I probably could make money on that. But since we're just getting started today, I think I'm gonna pass on it because I have no idea what this antique mall has in store. You know, maybe we'll circle back around and we'll end up picking it back up. This Rose Bowl is beautiful. $42 for the Rose Bowl. I love that it's opalescent, but then it also has the red on the edge. About $42 on this. Fancy Fantails Northwood Rose Bowl. 42, 30% off. So like, um, 12-ish dollars off, right? Ish, I left the ish in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was walking away and I noticed the K. Finch rabbits. I've come across K. Finch in the past, but never a piece this large and impressive. What says here? K. Finch carrots. As is. Oh, you know what? I think the ear is repaired. And they want 60. And the little bunnies are separate. Um, 
I'll have to go around the other side to see what they want for the little bunnies. That's kind of a bummer. I, I usually can recognize this K French stuff by those pastel colors. There's just a quality about it that I see it and I'm like, hey, could that be K French? And um, usually it's signed on the bottom. Looks like $40 a piece for the little bunnies. So they are 30% off. I don't know. What that break on the ear? I'm not sure. Okay, well, you guessed it. I literally just came out of the bath. I, like, every time, I'm like, you know what, guys? I'll be honest with you. I had to use the restroom. I came out, and here it was, this Hager Earth Wrap right here. So that just goes to show, you know, if you're ever getting a spot <laughs> in an antique mall, that's the place to have it, like, right outside the bathroom. We've got 30% off right here, and uh, it is... 49. I love the green. I've never bought and sold the green before. I've had, I believe I've had this, but I've had the the brown. I don't know if I'd had, I've had the white before. And I'm, I'm tempted at 30% off. I do like that earth wrap. 49. 30% off. You guys do the math because I, you know I can't. <laughs> uh, by the time you're telling me how to do the math in the comments, it's too late. It's too late. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. And you know what, if I buy one, I might as well buy them both. Because I do like, I do like the speckled glaze on that one as well. And it is 30% off, so um, we'll, we'll grab both of them. Very nice. Down here, what do we have? Oh, wait. You don't want to... Oh, there, I set it on something that was... Like, why doesn't it want to just sit down there? This. Roly. What does that even say? Kind of looks Italian to me. 59. This one is 59. This one's a little bit more spendy than the Hager. I think that says Geruda. Hmm. I don't know. We, we, we may have to come back to that one. I'm going to bring these Hagers up front and uh, look for a basket. And I will think about that. And yes, I saw this Hager piece. It has a chip on it. I did not neglect it. I saw it. Eight dollars. Yeah. <laughs> look at a silver flake on that. That's amazing really like that. Only eight bucks. Mm-hmm. I've got these little guys. They're plastic. I think they're supposed to look like Hummels. What else do we have on the shelf? Because that was unexpected. This looks like a real Hondo. Just the eyes. It's always in the eyes. That's usually how I can tell. But unfortunately, um, you can see there his uh, ear was repaired. That's a bummer. This one looks like it could have also been Rio Honda because of the eyes, but because it's painted and not glazed like that, it's probably not. It's like a Sitka. Not really sure about that. <laughs> this reminds me of the family tree that we had with the googly eyes. I like that. We've got our little Holt Howard scarecrows here. Um, they've got $18. Um, I guess both of them. Unfortunately, they are missing their little stand. So that's, that's a bummer. Oh, look at this. This is really neat. I like that. Is that Japan? It's got all the animals on it. $24. Vintage Noah's Ark cookie jar. As is. I like that about this place. They actually put as is on the tags. They don't always do that a lot of the places I go. And I'm like, wait a second. There's a chip on that. But I've noticed several tags here that actually have as is. And, and I can really appreciate that. I was walking by and I noticed these two dishes here. They're $15 a piece. And I love the contrast of the black with the white and they are horses so I'm gonna walk around it looks like this is opened and maybe we can get a closer look at them 
And as we were walking around, I noticed these. Oh my gosh, look at those. Look at them, they've got eyeballs. Eyeballs and teeth. The only thing better than eyeballs and teeth on those things would be googly eyes. Unfortunately, they're not googly eyes, they're just regular eyes. But those are super cool. $25 for the pair, and I think this case is open as well, and they're coming home with us. But let's go check out the horses. Moment of truth. What does it say? Ah, it says nothing. <laughs> it's denied. Denied. Um, there's two of them. I think I'm gonna buy one of them. I'm not gonna buy both. I'll buy one. I'll leave the other one here for someone else. I do like the horses. We don't buy a whole lot of stuff with horses. We're kind of obsessed with birds on this channel. This is the bird channel, not the, not the horse channel. But I like I like the horses. And I really love the contrast. So let's go get those things with teeth though, because that's really my new obsession is things with teeth. Open. All right, slidey, slide, you know you want to. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, yikes. Those are like paper thin. Terrifying. <laughs> I'm not even sure what what their purpose is. I mean, I would think maybe you could stick a, a flower in there like a dandelion. Let's set it right there. I'm gonna have to turn my camera off to take those up front because I have to juggle all this stuff and I don't trust myself with those, but <laughs> look at that. Okay, so I just don't even want to focus on it. Look. It's neat. All right, well, it's not a Mad Hatter lamp. <laughs> it's not a Mad Hatter lamp, but it is pretty awesome. Dunning Industries Mid-Century Lamp. New Brunswick shade. It's kind of a, I don't know. I don't think the shade is right. I'm not feeling the shade for this lamp. It needs a nice fiberglass tiered shade to really bring it all together. But I do love the lamp. The lamp is great. It caught my attention as I was walking by. I had to kind of stop and back up a little bit and be like, wow, look at that lamp. I mean, maybe it needs a Mad Hatter shade, I think. <laughs> That's really great. 240 on that. So I don't think we could buy it and flip it or anything like that. And it's a little heavy to ship. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable shipping that one, but it is a really cool pottery lamp. Okay, well, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I did think about it, and I think because, well, it is Deruda, um, and I looked it up, and this style of piece doesn't sell as well as some of the other styles, so I think I'm gonna leave this one behind. But I wasn't about to leave you guys hanging on that, so we're gonna leave this one. We're gonna walk away. In a, er, uh, now, is it marked? Hmm. That kind of reminds me of Costa Boda. They have pieces similar to... Oh, it is... Co okay, there you go. Costa Boda. Art glass. Votive. I guess maybe that's who makes it. I don't know. I'm not sure. We had really good luck in the cases the other day. Not these cases, but just cases in general. So I've learned to never, ever, ever discount the cases. Look at that. Look at that derpy looking critter right there. I'm gonna have to look down here and see. How much do they want? Eight, $30 for that deer. <laughs> he's a really cool looking deer, isn't he? I bet you he's glass. And he's he's got, I don't know, he's definitely, got my interest. This right here, wow, $75. That's a um, Viking, like, yeah, that's a, that's a Viking, um, Viking art glass mushroom. This whole booth is 20% off, but even at 20% off, I don't know if I can do that, but I definitely, I'm all over that guy. All right, I really wanted to show you some stuff out of this booth, uh, specifically this Royal Hager 
vase. This is $12 with uh, the pink inside, the gray outside, and I think this booth is also 20% off. Um, as long as, oh, this one's firm, so this one is actually $12, but I feel like that's a good price for it. Um, there's also this enamel piece. What is inside of that? Oh, it's like a cork. Interesting, but we do pretty well with the enamel pieces, so I think I'm going to grab that as well. And we've got a Scavo piece back here. This is $14. This one is not marked firm, so I've got a thing for Scavo. Not really sure how it happened or why, but I, I do like the Scavo. This piece right here, there is a famous artist who does these carved stone pieces. However, his name is not there on the bottom, so we will pass. When I say famous, I mean, he's not famous, but his stuff sells well, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I think I'm going to grab these. And um, I didn't really see a whole lot else in this booth here. I think I'm gonna scooch on not to the next booth. Oh my gosh, he's delightful. <laughs> he's just yeah, great. He's, cool. he's, he's got me. <laughs> look at those eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I will definitely <laughs> grab him. And okay. then, do you mind if I take a look at the um, yep. little poodle right back there as well? Thank you so much. He's really cute too. Not sure what he's doing, but like, is it a poodle or is it a? Oh, oh maybe a Jocko the monkey. It's a monkey. That's a monkey. Okay. I guess it is. Is it old? This thing doesn't look $18. old. Eighteen dollars and fifty cents. I, I, maybe he's a. Um, His eyes look old. An ornament. Oh, he's got the googly eyes. Yeah. Huh. Oh, he's great. Well, yeah, I will. He is I will take him as well, okay. just because the googly eye principle. Right. <laughs> This is the first time I've seen this little Mudman statue. It's marked China. Usually they're depicting an occupation, like I'm a scholar or a fisherman or something like that. In this case, they're just hanging out drinking. I mean, I guess that could be considered an occupation in some places. <laughs> oh boy. Jim Shore, Kitty Cat. I've actually seen this one quite a bit in my travels. I don't see a price on it though, unless I'm holding my hand over it. Nope, I don't see one. What is what is that in the back? Do you see it? Looks like it has a chip on it from here, but we're gonna pull it out and get a better look at it. New right out of there. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> is it a chip or is it just a glaze defect? It might that might be what it is. Um it's a little bank. There's no markings on it. I love that glaze. That's what caught my eye was the glazing on it. That's really fun. But again, I don't don't see a price on it. What the heck? You know what though, I'm gonna bring it up front and I'm gonna ask them if uh, maybe we can get a price on this. Cause I really like it. I've found another item that I really like and unfortunately it's behind closed doors actually. I don't know, I think, I'm pretty certain it's locked. I, I, I tried to yank it open and it didn't happen. So I think this case is locked. But uh, the piece I really liked was this dog back here, just stylistically, it's really interesting looking, and I really like the shape of it, so, uh, I didn't see a price tag on it, but I might ask to get in here, um, if possibly we can get it open, um, but let's see what else they've got in here, they've got some interesting pieces, Artwork and a rose medallion. It's a thicker rose medallion. I don't know if those two pieces actually go to. Whoa, Coldport, England. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Those pieces don't go together, I don't think, and um, I don't believe they do. This is a Chinese piece. That's Chinese rose medallion, and that is not. <laughs> so that explains that. All right, so the doggy is $20. And I think I'll take him. 
got a really nice looking plate here. What is this? Oh, there we go. It's a hand tinted plate. What does it say? Angles Anglesey? I think that's what it's Anglesey. I've actually heard Eric talk about this before. Yes, yes, now it's all coming back to me. It is hand tinted. It's a beautiful design. They want $15 for it. I don't see any damage. And uh, we've been doing pretty well on our single antique plates. So I'm actually going to buy this and um, give it a shot. But I think the last single antique plate sold for like 40 something dollars. So um, yeah, for only $15, I'll give it a shot. That's, there's only one way to pay to learn. This is really neat. Antique folk art wall box. Original paint. You guys know as soon as I see the folk art... I'm like all over it. $45. It's got birds on it and flowers. And that could go in a box. I like that a lot. $45. And is there a discount? There has to be, right? Everything's... Oh, yes. Half price on everything. There you go. Half price. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video thus far. But I think I'm going to end it right here. And I'm going to pick up tomorrow where we've left off. So, um, hopefully you guys tune in then and I will see you all tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.